In this video, we are going to learn regular expression. In previous videos or lecture of series, we saw finite automata. Now we are moving to regular expression or the regular language. Now, what is a regular language? A regular language is a language which is accepted by the finite automata. is called a regular language. Okay. Now we'll see what is a regular expression. Regular expression is nothing but expression written using these symbols or these operators. These operators means plus dot star operators and describing regular language is known as a regular expression. Now we will see how to describe a regular expression for any regular language or for the finite automata in this lecture. If you have not seen previous videos, please uh, do watch that videos and please subscribe my channel. Okay. Now here we will see these are the regular expression and the finite automata. So finite automata. These are the examples of finite automata. These are the basic examples of finite automata. And for this finite automata, how we can write a regular expression? In previous in previous video we saw finite automata. Now in next video we will see number of examples how to design a regular expression. Okay. Now here we we'll see the basic concept of regular expression. Now these are the finite automata, regular expression, and the language which are accepted by using this finite automata or the regular expression. Okay. So. Let us consider this is the one state which is initial state as well as final state. If that is happening, then regular expression is epsilon. For this finite automata, our regular exp expression is epsilon, means we can accept null string, and our language will accept only epsilon string. Okay? If my finite automata is like this one, this is one initial state, and one more final state is there. And over there only a string is accepted. Okay, means from initial state to final state, I am moving on a input. Okay, so regular expression is a, and language is accepted. That is only a character, only a. If this is the example, okay, here one initial state, final state, and this is here I am accepting a comma b. Means our regular expression will have a plus b. Means either we can accept a character or the a input symbol or the b input symbol, which we are going to represent with the help of this plus. This plus is nothing but or. Or this also we can show like this a or b. This is also correct. Okay, plus represent or and this also represent or. And here, how many strings we can accept? Using this regular language or using this regular expression, only a either a or either b. Okay. Now let us consider this example here. After a, we can accept b. Means this is a concatenation. So after a, there is a b, and then we are reaching to final state. That means our regular expression is accepting a dot b. Okay. A dot B. This is nothing but dot operator, and this is called the concatenation. Okay, we saw OR operator. This is a dot operator, concatenation. And here, which string we can accept using this regular expression and finite automata? Only A B. Okay, so language is A B means only A B string we can accept using these two. Okay, now next is initial state is a final state, and here this is a self loop A. That means what? Here we can accept any number of a, including epsilon. Okay, including epsilon because this is my initial state as well as final state. So here we can accept epsilon like this, and here this is a self loop. So regular expression how we can write? R is equal to a star. Okay, this is a finite automata, and for this regular expression is a star. So which language or which string? Accepted by using this finite automata or using this regular expression, epsilon minimum string is epsilon because this is the initial state as well as final state. So we can accept null string. Okay, epsilon then a single a a a 
A A A like this. So this is a representation. Star means epsilon A A A A A A. Any number of A's. So this is our regular expression for this finite automata, and this is our line bit. Now next example. Here we can see. This is the initial state. This is my final state. Okay. Now here minimum string A we have to accept to reach final state. And later on there is a loop on A. So regular expression is what A A star. This is nothing but star A star. Okay. Self loop means A star like this. So minimum string A and then A star. So minimum string is A over here because this is not a final state. So here epsilon was our string. So here A will be our minimum state to reach a final state. Okay. So this A A star we can represent A plus. So A A star is nothing but A plus. So minimum A character we have to accept. So language will have A A A A A A means any number of A's. So these are the basic Finite automata, and for this basic regular expression, and these are the languages which accepted by this regular languages. So, this regular expression are for this finite automata. Now, we'll see. Let us consider one example. This is my initial state, and this is my final state. Okay. Now, here I am going to take a comma b, a comma b. We know. This is the finite automata for any number of string over sigma a comma b. Means we can accept any any string. So for this, how we can write regular expression? Regular expression we can write like this: a or b combination of a or b star. Why star? Because this initial state is my final state. Okay, so here we can accept any combination of A and B. So our language will have minimum string epsilon, then A, B, A B, B A, A A. So any combination over. So this is a regular expression for this finite automata. Okay, now we'll take one more example. Let us consider this is one. state this is my final state okay this is my final state here i am going to take a then this is a b and later on there is a combination of a comma b okay so this is a finite automata so for this finite automata how we can write a regular expression so regular expression for this example this self loop this loop is nothing but a star okay means any number of a we can accept but this is not a final state so after this a star so we will write for this loop a star after a star there is a b okay there is a b means one string one character of b to change transition from one state to another state so b and later on there is a combination of a and b so how we can write so this is a concatenation okay here there is a concatenation in between this means after a dot this b dot then a comma b so a plus b star here we can write so here in between there is a concatenation okay concatenation means after a number of a we can accept one single b and then any number of a comma b okay so this is the regular expression for this finite automata so every time we are not going to write this or show this dot concatenation operator simply this is also okay by default there is a concatenation in between this expression or these are the regular expression so we can see here this is one regular expression this is one regular expression this is one regular expression so we have concatenated all these regular expression so here we can observe minimum string for this finite automata is b so b so here if i took a star so for this a star if i took epsilon okay if epsilon because a star is giving epsilon star if there is a star that means there is a epsilon null string okay so here i am going to take epsilon 
then minimum b again there is a combination of a plus b star again i am going to take epsilon so what string i am getting that is a b string understood so only b string is accepted okay now i want a b a b this string i want so how we can accept a b i am reaching to final state that string is accepted a and b that string is accepted okay now we'll check from this regular expression how we can accept a b string so for this i am going to take a okay a means a star is giving a string okay a and then later on this b and for this there will be epsilon so here i can accept a b okay using this regular expression now we'll check a b a b okay a b a b whether this is accepted using this regular expression or not okay so how we can find out so here i am going to show a b a b so for this a b and then a b so here any combination of a a and b so a b a b okay now i want to accept a a a b b b okay a a a b b b so a a a b b b are you getting for this three time i am going to take a a a b for this b and b b b okay sorry b b two times from this b now a b a b a a b b okay a b okay a b a b a b a a b means from this string we have to we can accept any combination over a comma b because there is a star so here in this way we can represent a regular expression for finite automata and language which is describing for that finite automata or regular expression is called a regular language okay now in next video we will see number of examples how to uh, design regular expression of for different regular languages okay thank you if you like this video click on like button and do not forget to subscribe the channel click on bell button to get notification of new video thank you